Hi and welcome to Mahika Devlog number 16. Another week and another Mahika update. So I've just finished the script to add a day and night cycle to our Mahika world. Uh, just sharing with you the uh, tutorial world node uh, in Godot that I've been using the past videos. Um, this is it. So this, this has a tile map node, have the enemies node, which is a bunch of slimes. Uh, I have this pine tree resource node that I've, I'm still working on this. I have uh, this UI nodes. Uh, the health growler is the one that I've shared with you last week. Uh, so this is the one that actually shows the damage uh, whenever the player hits the enemy or the enemy hits the player. So it, you know, pops up uh, and then fades away. Um, we have the player node, uh, we have this day-night filter, which is the one that I'm going to share with you today. So uh, this day-night filter is actually a canvas module, modulate node in Godot that uh, will provide a bluish tint filter when we approach nighttime. Um, and here is the script that I've, been, I've worked on um, just to connect to this day-night filter. So I'm connecting to this uh, time tick signal and passing on the parameters to uh, the UI canvas. Uh, and also I'm passing on parameters to my player character. Uh, the player character has this light effect that I did, uh, which is actually inside this glow property. Uh, I made this so that when it becomes dark, we can still see the player by having a lighting effect on the character. And so yeah, uh, we'll see that uh, later on. Uh, let me show you how the uh, world looks like in Godot. So this is the one that I've been uh, doing and sharing with you the past week. And also I have this uh, day-night cycle uh, node. Uh, I've added a day and time label. Uh, just to make sure that we can actually see how the world time works uh, when it runs. And yeah, let's uh, play the project. Cool. So I set up the initial time to uh, 12 p.m. and the world timer to be 20 times as fast as the default time. Uh, I set this up just to show you, you know, how quickly how the world becomes dark and how the player lights up it's actually not really glowing but it lights up in the dark just to make sure that we can actually see the player and once I'm done testing uh, I'm gonna set this default to one minute world time in the game equals one second real time and I think that's a, a good enough uh, you know uh, time uh, for in-game uh, world and yeah, let's wait for it to become morning. And as you can see, when it comes 5 a.m., it now lights up and the uh, lighting for the character now fades. And that's it. Quick and easy. So, hope you like this video. Uh, please add Mahika to your Steam wishlist. Uh, if you have any ideas to make the game better, uh, please flick us a message. Um, we appreciate your comments and suggestions. Uh, thanks everyone. Uh, stay safe. Have fun. See you again on the next vlog update.